Next, we're going to learn about capacity planning, capacity requirement planning in SAP production planning. The topics that we're going to cover today, they are basic functions of capacity planning, capacity evaluations, calculation of capacity requirements, graphical planning tool, customizing of time profile, customizing of strategy and some other profiles as well. So let us start with the business example. You are working in a manufacturing company and you want to get an overview of SAP capacity planning. Therefore, you want to find out about the capacity planning environment. In your company, numerous evaluations are required for the capacity situation of the work center. In your production process, you want to level the capacity loads on the resources to do this, you use the capacity leveling function to compare the capacity requirements with the available capacity. So basically, in the third point, what saying is if you want to compare with how much capacity we have and how much orders we have. So how much load we have, you can say, or how much capacity we have available. So we will talk about it in more details in today's class. First of all, we'll start with capacity evaluation. Now, in the earlier uh, lectures, we have seen that how the requirements are generated. So basically, we have seen that um, we create the planned orders or the production orders or the process orders from the master data. So master data, so if, if you want to create a, say, a, a planned order, a production order, a process order, it will be reading the data, master data. So master data can be a material master, it can be a bomb, it can be routing as well. So the uh, the capacity related data comes from the routing, which has a work center, and work center has a further capacity in CR02, where we have seen earlier where we maintain all the capacity that, okay, this work center is working Monday to Friday from say, 7 a.m. to 10 p.m., something like that. So that's the capacity planning we maintain in the routing. So all this data will be copied to the planned order and process order and from there the capacity requirement will be calculated so we want to see that okay if suppose in the next one month we got say this much capacity then we want to compare with what we got in the uh, in the pipeline so how much orders we have we need to process we need to manufacture and all that and we want to compare for it so let's have a look how we can do it in in sap and using this we have like different views and different setting we can do so we'll talk about this one here so the transaction is cm01 so if you use cm01 transaction you can use this transaction to view the load on a specific work center so let me show you this um, transaction so if you go to on sap menu you can go to uh, logistic production and then you can open the capacity planning then the leveling work center view open that not this one evaluation work center view and cm01 so that's the transaction you can use to see the load so if i open this transaction and i'm using this work center that i created earlier for demo purpose so i will enter my work center and i will enter my plant leave the capacity planner group as blank for now and you can click on the standard view if i click on the standard view it will show me the capacity available on this work center and by default is showing me on weekly basis for example whatever date is today from from today's date onwards it will show you the the calendar month uh, weeks so here this is saying that okay as per today's date so 27th next next week is the 27th month of this year and then 28th month 29 like so on so it will show you say how many are they one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so ten weeks is showing me here by default so showing me the, okay in the next ten weeks we got this much capacity and this much requirement so here you can see the requirement requirements means what we have from the production orders and planned orders production order mainly actually so these are the capacity uh, these are the requirements coming from the planned uh, production order and these are the capacity available capacity so available capacity comes from where from the uh, data we maintain in CR02. So if I open one more screen here and if I show you this work center CR02 enter this work center go to capacity 
and uh, scroll down click on capacity and if you remember we click on interview and shift so here we maintain these are the working hours of this work center so all this data all the capacity will calculate it from here <coughs> and this one is showing the next one is showing capacity load so comparing the requirement versus available capacity this is the load we have on this week okay and here is showing you the remaining capacity so whatever is the remaining and if you see the red one that means it's overloaded on this week this work center is overloaded so that means we got more orders than the available capacity so we need to do the adjustment last column is showing in the hours unit hours okay so here you can see for example the red anything that you see in as a red line that means is overloaded overloaded means here you can see that the requirement we have is 60.5 hours however our work center is only available for 36 hours that means we need to do the production for 60 hours but we are working only 36 hours so comparing this one the capacity load is 168 percent that means more than 100 percent and we are lacking 24.5 hours that means 24.5 hours extra time is required or we to complete this job however we not as per the available capacity or the working hours on the, this work center 24.5 hours are required extra so we need to do some adjustment <clears throat> same way you can see for example if you see on the week number 31 it's showing you that I got uh, 30 hours of requirement is there available capacity is 36 hours that means that's fine 36 hour capacity is there but we only need 30 hours and 83% of it is consumed and what is left 36 minus 30 6 hours still left so you can see okay on what what week how much uh, remaining capacity is there okay for example you can see here we got 24.5 hours we need to make the adjustment so we can move this one to this one so we can move the production order from here and change the date of the production order as a start date and finish it and move it on the next week so that's how you can do the adjustment and if you want to see that okay that um, uh, on this week say this red one okay what what uh, production orders are uh, consuming all the capacity so what you can do you can either double click on the line like this or you can select the line and click on this button on the top capacity details period <coughs> so it will show you the planned orders that are uh, that are uh, scheduled for this week so if you double click so these are the three planned orders only I already created before this class to show you the dummy purpose and if I double click on any of the planned order uh, sorry production order if I double click on this it will directly jump to the production order change screen so here you can see this is the quantity this is the dates required and everything so if I go back same thing you can double click on any any production or uh, plan uh, sorry production order and it will jump to that screen so if I go back back so here I am so showing you these are the quantities these are the hours consumed and these are the dates if I go back same thing if I do it on say here is showing one hour is required only so if I double click on it so here is it will show me there are only two production order here if I go back like this so you can see the detail view here so that this screen is very very important so it's used in a lot in the real time environment to see the capacity so in the next one month they want to see okay what is the requirement and what is available capacity and just want to make sure that nothing is overloaded so if there is any red line here so we need to think about it and do the adjustment okay so we can open any order and we can do the adjustment so now I'll show you some other stuff as well and whenever you make any changes for example if you double click on this one double click on this order change the dates here whatever and then go back back and click on this refresh button it will do the refresh if I click on standard overview it will show you the graphical form if you click on the standard overview it will show you the graphical form the same thing so here it's showing you <laughs> anything is red is overloaded uh, blue is requirement excluded